A unique mission has come to an end for four NASA volunteers sealed inside a simulated Mars habitat for more than a year. The quest to study life on the Red Planet is a critical step to making it a reality. Here's CTV's Christina Tanalia. Just ready to come out? The crew of four emerged after 378 days in confinement. It felt like an out-of-this-world mission, but this team never left the ground. It's actually just so wonderful to be able to say hello to you all. Hello from Earth, as this was a mission to Mars simulation, a NASA first. You know, wow, that went by quickly. The quartet of volunteer crew members spent more than a year in this 3D printed 17,000 square foot facility about the size of a hockey rink. It's an elaborate makeshift Mars environment at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. And I really hope this helps us get that much closer to the reality of putting boots on Mars. That reality means working out some challenges. There's a lot of different problems to solve, and the only way to start solving them is through good simulation. Retired astronaut and Colonel Chris Hadfield was the first Canadian to walk in space. So if you're going to stay on Mars for extended periods, then you have to rethink how you do everything. Where does your food come from? What do you do when things break? And that's what this crew did. Carrying out experiments, growing vegetables, conducting simulated Mars walks, and gathering data that will help the space agency to prepare to return to the moon and Mars. NASA's last successful mission was the Perseverance rover. It landed on Mars surface in February 2021. But humans have never touched the red planet. Why go to Mars? Because it's possible. And we'll sort of go when the technology gets good enough to make it reasonably safe. A little subset of us pushing the very edge of what's possible, that's always been what has turned history. As for the simulated missions on Earth, NASA plans to carry out two more. And the space agency hopes for the real deal to send astronauts to Mars in the early 2030s. Heather. Just a few years away, Christina, thanks.